Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. This is Rocco, and this is part 18. And, um, you know, judging from last time, I was, I was pretty pissed. You have no idea, I cut a lot of stuff out. Me doing stupid things, it took me forever to play. But I'm still trudging on, because, you know, because I want to. And I'm dedicated to all 14 of you. You're like my own family of 14 kids illegitimate children that okay so let's start playing now I'm still in dead space mode in my head because I'm playing dead space 2 so it always takes me a little while to get used to the controls again well, let's see what's going on here oh that's right I'm still following this uh, DNA shizzle Well, that was fun. Nice fooling us game. We had to go through the bathroom. Oh my god, now we're going into the women's room. Yes. Oh my god, we're going to see nothing. Not even mirrors. Oh, uh, well, in a penitentiary, I guess they don't have mirrors, do they? I also assume in a real penitentiary they don't put the... Oh, well, I was wrong. Oh, look at this. Look, look, watch me flex. 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 Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? 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 Two people. One voice. No gun. Well, the music is certainly flourishing right here. There's lots of people out there. Can we have the penguin? Be off! Well, we'll be seeing them in a little while, won't we? Once that old lever is tripped, I have a feeling we will be seeing all of you guys. Up close and personal. What are y'all doing? Speaking of dead space, this music is very dead spacey right now. Dude, that's not. Can you grab me? Grab me, do it. Oh. Well, you did it. What's this guy up to? <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Alright. Floors are cool, though. Look at that. Man. I killed it getting this jail. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, see you, bitches. In. The Green Mile. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. Stop! Stop, Batman, please! You've got to help my babies! 
I'm really not interested Poison in a Ivy. bunch of flowers, Ivy. They're in pain, crying for help. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. I won't let them hurt you. She's a bit cuckoo, although pretty sexy, man. All right, botanist Pamela Isley was transformed by a science experiment gone wrong into a plant-human hybrid. With chlorophyll flowing through her veins instead of blood, she developed a toxic touch and a pheromone field talent for seduction. Her crimes have become more ecologically, ecologically focused as she has increasingly abandoned her human side, identifying more with the natural world. Her unique brand of eco-terrorism often puts her into conflict with Batman, whose iron will usually protects him from her seductive powers. Hopefully we have some, uh, some, um, rubber lips to wear. Everyone will pay. How much? I keep looking on my back to see how much health I have left. Like that space. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Bat porn. I'm up here. I'm up here. Case of mistaken identity. Titty. Help. Haven't I? I think have I been here before? Hmm. Can't remember. Warden Sharp. Help. Oh, this seems like so long ago. But I remember it like it was Warden Sharp yesterday. Please, someone help me. <laughs> well, that was easy. Too easy. You have to help me. I think like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have to look for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. Oh, that was nice of her. That feels so much better. Mm. Ah, she's a good kid. I could watch those two all day. What a riot! And speaking of riots, Me too. Even in a civil unrest, I cooked up just for you. <laughs> and here we go. Just like I said. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code Just a card. anywhere. We're trapped in here. Done. He says, Ultra. Okay. Alrighty. There's always a way out. Always. Except when there isn't.
All right, um... <laughs> All right, well, that works. Stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? Get me out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. Oh, shit, what? Oh, well, there we go. Play face. Cat face. Initially an actor in horror films. Hmm, I don't see how that could have possibly worked. Carlo went mad when he learned a classic film of his was to be remade with a different actor in the lead role. He took on the mask of the film's villain, Clayface, and killed several of the remake's cast and crew before being stopped by Batman and Robin. Later, Carlo joined the Mud Pack, an alliance of shape-changing mutated villains who had subsequently used the name Clayface. While that group was defeated, Carlo tricked his allies and injected himself with the essences of several of them, becoming a superhuman imbued with the abilities to change shape, melt others into protoplasm with a touch, and mimic the powers of heroes or villains he copies. So, what's sharp? Is he a hero or a villain? Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you've discovered my true face, detective. Please keep it a secret. <laughs> now I'm telling everybody. And that's that's not how you that is not how a woman works. That's not what Okay. I'm guessing we're off to fight these some bitches. Although first I wanna see what's up here. Well, that's what's up here. Alright, somebody's all growly. Man, I get the feeling that there were there's so many of those things to go back and, and, um, and destroy. <laughs> oh shit. So long, lunatic. Now, do I have to go here or do am I going out to Honestly, I don't even know. Or wait. Oh well. Well, we're gonna go back through here anyway. At least it'll give us some um some bats to upgrade. Liberate me ex infernus. Liberate me from the fire.
Yeah, I'm not surprised, you know, but guys, thanks, Harley. I always thought there was a spark between us. <laughs> oh, that's why the floor is so cool, isn't it? Well, now there is. Mm. I know, I know, we are shot. <laughs> Come and get me, fans. I double dare you. Okay. You guys are idiots. They're going to everywhere. Don't let them hit you, you idiot. <laughs> she up there? Oh, she is. They're not listening. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Damn. Oh, shit. Was that as easy as it looked? Huh. Well, it won't be so easy trying to catch me. Mwah! Maybe it will. Where'd you go? <laughs> Maybe it won't. Did she go that way? Where did she go? This way? Ow. Ow. Ah, shit. Can I shut it off? Alright, was it me or I didn't think the whole f the whole floor um yeah. Yep. Okay, where are the hostels? Those guns are armed. I know, I know, I know. And I know I keep doing it. I know. Which is why I should... Horse Certa Hora Incerta. Something, something, time, something? Hours, something? I don't know. Really? How 
How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433. Remember you forgot to buy your cat food. Again. How do you know where I... sit down in your favorite red chair, cat on lap, just waiting for something to happen. I can make it happen, Sarah. I am your salvation. Well, that's pretty scary. What do you call someone who has anyway. to solve three quarters of my riddles? A Batman. That's probably right. Um, something about death. Death is certain. Time is uncertain. Time is not certain. I think. Basically, you know, certain you're gonna die. Don't know when. Is that what it's saying? I don't know. Whatever. I'm winging it. Winging my Latin. My Latin isn't very good. But I'm good at figuring stuff out anyway. What? I don't even know. Except for when it comes to games. Kerpla. Patient pacification system deactivated. <laughs> pacification. Ah, <laughs> hardly. More like electra tra passive for electrification. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, I think I'm gonna fit this has actually been a decent um decent episode for once, and I think I'm gonna finish up once I go through another door to save. Oh hi. Damn. Who would have thought there would be lunatics in an asylum? It's crazy. Oh shit. Yeah, this episode definitely makes up for the last one. Although, well, I guess that's because there really hasn't been much fighting in it. <laughs> if there had been, I would have sucked. Damn it. Just like that. Easy, oh. isn't it? Well, Didn't even try. We'll Calendar man, eh? Fixated on the calendar, Julian Day became Calendar Man. I get it. Julian Day's calendar. Anyway, a villain who timed and tied his crimes thematically to certain holidays throughout the year, often leaving clues by which he could be caught. Gotham City's hopes for a day off are often clouded by the knowledge that any holiday of note is likely to be shadowed by Calendar Man's presence. Admittedly, I'd never heard of him, but he sounds pretty cool. Silly name, but sounds like a pretty cool villain. I don't know what else I would name him. I'd probably name him, like, uh, you know, Calendar Man. But, you know, maybe Colander Man. What? Okay, and right after this, I think I'm going to call it quits. Hopefully nobody says anything. And... Save, come on. There we go. Well, anyway, thanks for watching Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. This definitely went better, like I said, than last time. Um, and stay tuned for part 18. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.